the bird too. As we keep drinking, the ABV keeps going up. Only in this one. Last one they went down. Quiet! Don't tell them that. We gotta look like we're big, big time drinkers here, you know? <laughs> yes, the dogs are back. They came and hit us up for the dregs of the beer bottles. Not that we would ever, ever give a dog any beer. No. Anyways, we're gonna give us dogs some beer right about now. Ooh. And what beer are we gonna have? We are going to have something by the Evil Twin Brewing Company. <clears throat> and we think it's like a 212. 2012. I know. <laughs> uh, the beer name is called Old Yin. Or Old Yin. Okay, whatever. Imperial Tahaji Stout. Tahaji Stout. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that. <laughs> so I think it's supposed to be a Russian Imperial Stout. It's a rotating brew that Evil Twin, as you know, is a gypsy brewer, does at Brewdog in Scotland. And this is aged in Scott whiskey, Scotch whiskey barrels for how many months? Nine. Nine months. No, nine. Nine is this one's down on nine. <laughs> you gotta help the stunt trigger. So these guys are out of Copenhagen, but they've relocated to Brooklyn, New York. Hey. Hey, what's up? What are you talking about in Brooklyn? So 12% ABV and between 50 and 65 IBUs because they don't list it anywhere. So let's get this one cracked and see what's up on this 2012 vintage. Oh, nice hiss. Don't you love that sound, guys? Hiss. Oh, plenty of smoke coming off. Wow. Wow, smell that one. Nice. <laughs> no more smoke because Johnny has snorted said smoke. No, dog, you can't have any of this. I'm sorry. I have not done crack. <laughs> However, if you're in Toronto, much like our lovely mayor in close to us, D.C., you may have done crack, and you feel you should keep your job because you're having fun doing said job. I think he did his legally. Oh, um, did he? Yeah, oh, you know, there. there's no light getting through this. <laughs> no. <laughs> None. And we have a shop light behind us over there, and there is no light coming through this. Even down the bottom and near the stem, there's nothing coming no, no. through. And for a, tw a, a year old... 12% uh, beer, that's a lot of head, like a half finger, like we're showing here. Really nice looking beer when you're swirling. Ooh. Plenty of clingy glass. Dude, look at this freaking alcohol. Oh, it. it looks like candy coating on the inside of glass when you swirl this. Let's get a nose. I get sweetness. I get oh, damn. bourbon. Oh, or Whis whiskey. Whiskey. Sorry. Yeah, but mm, a little I bit of like smoky. Smokiness, yeah. Mm. It's almost like I'm. It's like you're actually sitting by wow. a fire while it's actually going. <laughs> this, this reminds me the most of like that paradox that I had from from Brewdog. Man, this is, I believe this is I love whiskey barrels. Also, I'm not sure, but I've read some reviews and they say smoky and salty, so that suggests that to me. But who knows? It smells really good, man. Whiskey and chocolate. Vanilla. Yeah, vanilla, coconut, a little bit of coffee. Mm -hmm. Maybe As like, you can see. Wow. But the other beers, sometimes I smell and wow. drink right away, but this one I'm enjoying. Johnny's a I want man to drink. Away. Man. I, I mean, wow. seriously, it feels like I'm, I've got, look, I need a stick with some marshmallows. Yes. Because the fire is mm. going, and that's the smell I'm getting from so that. So much, like, heavy roast and, like, char level in this. Damn, that smells good. Okay, I've had enough of this. Cheers. Yeah. Gotta like booze and beer. Man, right up front, you get a kick of, of whiskey. Then after that, char, chocolate, dark fruits. Man, so many layers of flavor here. Bit of smokiness. Coconut leather. Mm. Wow. He doesn't get leather, I'd give it to me. I used to chew the the lanyard that was around my neck to keep my house key when I was a kid. That was the last time yeah, I chewed it. Yeah, it's like the leather smell, you know, like when you get a new leather bag or jacket. Man. Mm. And it has it, a, it, mm. As to other bourbon barrel aged times, it's thinner. Mm -hmm. And I think we. You may have said something about this being in a whiskey barrel, Scotch whiskey. It would, those tend to be thinner than a bourbon barrel. Wow. First thing I get is vanilla. Um, 
Like, but that like but dark it, Madagascar oh, vanilla. I get a vanilla. I get a cherry. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a maraschino cherry. Yeah, it's a, a lot of sweetness. It's that syrup of the maraschino cherries that I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. I, that's probably the year, I guess, celery that's brought those dark, that, that dark fruit and cherry flavor up in it. it wow. And it's funny. Whatever mm-hmm. the hops is, mm-hmm. it's tingling back there. Mm-hmm. I haven't sneezed yet. But... but but it's, it's tingling. Right. It's coming for you. So whatever they're hopping this up with. Mm. Um, it's got, it, uh, Johnny's mentioned that the mouth feels a little thinner, but it's not a thin beer by any sense. No. It's a full medium body, but like some of the ones we have been really super chewy. This isn't that beer, but it, I don't think it's lacking in body or viscosity. It's it's really good. And where's the 12% of this? I don't, I don't really taste the booze at all in this. This would go down it's, like really easy. To me it's mixed in with it, it's disguised by the I, I'm just mm. I'm not I'm getting just a hell of a lot of vanilla and a hell of a lot of cherry. I don't know what it is. I, I'm getting main, me, I'm getting a lot of char and chocolate. I'm getting that like dark fruits not I made smell exactly it. cherry. I smell it but I just don't mm. Maybe whatever it's all it is pomegranates I had. Could be. Whatever it is, this is a good ass beer, man. There's there was no corners cut when this beer was made. The nine months in the in the barrel did it well. I mean, look at this. As we're drinking it down, this glass is candy coated on the inside, guys. What if we let this sit for a little bit and we come back? Yeah, we'll do that. All right, guys, we'll be back. We'll let this warm up a little more, and we'll be back in the fun. That's right. We've been drinking beer. Been trying to find different tastes out of this beer. Cause I've been finding cherry in it and all that so I took to wasabi covered peas and still had some cherryness but then I got some toastedness some chocolate in there as it warmed up uh, you can see the head's gone down but great lacing on the side of the glass uh, super coating kind of beer when you swirl it as you can see I didn't like mine I Drag mine down to the last swallow. Um, I think that cherry flavor is probably coming from the fact that it's a, it's a year old, and maybe they used English ale yeast and a lot of those. You know, when we had that um, the Samuel Smith beers, they've got all that like real that dark fruit and berry yeah. flavor. Maybe that's part of it. The yeast is throwing those flavors, but I do get the cherry, but not as as much as Johnny. I like it. I think it's a great beer. So we, should we do a Scottish dishwasher or I got um, some Jameson? <laughs> yeah, Jameson dishwasher might clean out these glasses good. I don't, I don't know. It might offend said said Scott. Glenn, said uh, uh, brew, but yeah, um, got some Glen Levitt, but I'm not gonna use it in this. No, no, not for that. No. So, what grade do we give this? What what grade you right here giving it, Johnny? Is that low? Uh, trust me, it's sitting right in front of my face. Oh, it's not a hundred. It's only a 99. 99. Go figure. Now, Beer Advocate gives it a 96. I wonder what they found wrong. Maybe it's the, had the cherry taste like I did. It offended those people in right beer land. <laughs> They're omniscient, don't you know? Yes. Um, and Beer Advocate's given it a 96, which is an A, almost verging on that A-plus level. Um, I like it a lot, and I would drink it again. Um, I will drink it again because I bought more than one bottle of it. But um, I'm going to give... I'll be able to drink it again, too. Of course. I'm going to give this myself. I'm going to give it an A. I'm going to give it like a high A. I'm going to give it a 94, 95, something like that. But A beer, really tasty, and it's cellared really well. You really you don't get any oxidation or anything like that. And it's really balanced between whiskey and the other flavors. Um, the mouthfeel is a little thin, but you know what? Beyond that, there's really no knock. And at 12%, you just can't taste the 12% in this beer. Uh, I'll, I'll, I would go somewhere 93, 94 as well. I'd really like to try it again. Um, you, you will. Know, give it, give it on time, <laughs> some more time, mm-hmm. uh, just to see what other flavors I get out of this. It, it's just, you know, in a lot of beers, I get the toastiness, you know, chocolate, toffee, coffee, whatever you want to get out of it. But for me to have, 
you know, a freaking maraschino syrup cherry taste to it all the way through, even from, you know, when it was about time, you know, good temperature for drinking it all the way until it warmed up a little bit. We've got ourselves a halogen light that's warming up this garage space here. So uh, I, I really like to see what it tastes like again. Oh, one thing, sometimes when you eat wasabi and drink this, it tastes like sucrets. If you guys remember, <laughs> if they still make sucrets, the cherry ones. Ooh, that reminded me. My sore throat's gone, but you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I definitely, let me say 93, 94. So definitely would drink it again just to, I, I, I want to see what it tastes like. Yep. So you guys know what to do now. Drink. Dog already did. Dog liked it. Yeah, the dog, the dog, <laughs> the dog thought about finishing on the bottle. But we would never, ever give the dog any beer. She was looking at her glasses after the bottle. We showed her the bottle. Jumped up on me, trying yeah. to have it. <laughs> Anyways, if you can think globally, you got to drink locally. Yeah, especially if you're in Scotland, you can drink this locally, but nowhere else probably. Yeah. Um, support the craft beer mint. Beer mint. Yeah, beer mint. The the beer mint. Support the craft beer, beer movement. Until the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks so many for watching. If you've had this, you can let us know, and maybe we'll reply back. Remember, it's 2012, not 212. That's right, 2012, year in the bottle. Hard to compare other things with it, but if you've had it solid, let us know. Until the next DJ's Brew Tube, peace out.